Alrighty, as for aligning the rear end, there's two eccentrics. There's that guy on the control arm for tow. And then there's this dude back here, that really long one with the massive 24 millimeter nut on this end of the integral link for camber. Now, since our tire was roached from presumably too much tow and negative camber, how you adjust this is you can see one side's bigger than the other so as it rolls around inside this groove welded on here it moves this wheel carrier see if i can line it up good enough for you to see and hold it steady yeah that moves so as this big end comes around is pressing against here it's moving the bottom out it gives you negative camber Don't mind all these little freaking neighborhood darlings rapping. Future carjackers of America. Now, and now as we go back, it's coming back in, which will hopefully give us close to zero camber. So since I don't know what's what around here, I'm going to leave it sitting right about here which would be either zero or maybe positive. I don't know. We're going to go as much non-negative camber as we can. So that's what we're doing. So you want just the camber first, then your toe. And since I don't know, looking at it, it looks like it's towed in pretty hardcore. And I don't remember, is this also an 18? And no, that's like a 16. Alright, and as for this, it's a 16 millimeter on both sides, but as you can see, this is going to be kind of the same deal. It's big on one side, small on the other. It's got those two dealios on either side. So as that big end comes around, it's going to push this either in towards the car or out and away from it. So right there is kind of like zero-ish. It's really hard to get this in here. See? Kind of zero-ish. But it obviously had some toe in before, so since I don't know what's what until I like string align this or anything, we'll just kind of move it a little towards the out. which is really hard to tell without the wheel or anything on it, but I'm thinking if I could just move it a little bit more, it should be okay. Not too much, but as long as that slightly bigger end is touching that one that's towards the inside of the car. That'll move this thing to where it will tow it out some. So we'll try that and we'll see how that goes for now. And then once you think you got it right, then you can torque it down after you put your load on the suspension. But in a nutshell, that is how you do rear end alignments. Do your camber first and then your tow. Obviously, I don't have good enough eyeballs to make sure that that's straight yet but once I get everything buttoned up back together I'll be able to look at it and measure it string method whatever I got going on and then I can adjust it some more from there all right guys thanks for watching peace